After going through the comments, it seems like my audio has been cutting out a little bit. So I'm going to like, you know, keep an eye on my audio here. So I apologize. I think I fixed the issue, but thank you for letting me know. I really appreciate the feedback. I, I, I lied. Okay. Because yesterday, uh, this video I uploaded here, the hardest decision you will have to make and no doubt about it. This is 100% going to be a hard decision. We're gonna, you're gonna have to either pick between these anniversary characters here, or of course, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hyrule Garden. This is definitely a very hard decision for you. But like some of the comments, I love to read my, you guys know, I always, I'm going through these comments. All these comments are hard. I, I read through these comments and someone pointed out a very, very true topic that I completely forgot about what Saiyan Day could be. We can't rule out Saiyan Day. Last year, it was the best. This is still, people consider him the best TUR, right? He, like, Saiyan Day. Even with, like, the t all target mechanic. Like, I can see the Saiyan Day character this year having that all target mechanic where, you know, they target all the enemy, and, and that's going to be hype. People love to see, especially global. When, when I say people, I mean global. Like, when a when something that's exclusive to the anniversary or came first for the anniversary releases for something like Saiyan Day or something that is available to global for the anniversary, people go crazy for that. So Saiyan Day could be, you know, genuinely like extremely hype, and that could also be very hard to to, to uh, skip on. Before I talk about anything else, though, yesterday I did in this video I tested your luck for. Uh, the Gogeta and Broly side of things. You tested your RNG, of course. And today, we're going to test your RNG just one more time. And we'll test your RNG a little bit later as well. But testing your RNG one more time for Beast Gohan and the Gammas. And it's going to be the same exact process. So, the, you know how this works. If you don't guess the side of the coin correctly, like pick a side of the coin in your head right now really quick. If you guess it wrong, your RNG is not looking pretty good. You got caught lacking today. You got to subscribe. It is what it is. Thank you so much for 60.8K. We're actually already really close to 60.9. So thank you again for all the love and support. If you got caught lacking today, if you guess it wrong, got to subscribe. It is what it is. But if you guess it right, it means your luck for whichever one of these characters you're looking for is looking pretty good so far. We'll see how it advances later on. So I'll give you two, three seconds uh, to pick us out of the coin. Don't lie because I, I, I know you. All right. Three, two, one, and it lands on Tails. If you pick Tails, congratulations. Your luck so far is looking good for the anniversary. Keep releasing good karma into the universe, all right? And uh, if you if you picked on heads, I mean, RNG is not looking great. You need a little. You need to put a little bit more effort into putting, you know, good karma, good energy into the universe. I appreciate you. Let's move on with the video. So again, Saiyan Day, which happens March eighteenth, is going to be something that I, again, completely forgot to mention in this video. It happens before Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hyrule Garden since they drop in early April. Saiyan Day is something to consider. It's it's going to be tough to skip Saiyan Day, especially if it, again, introduces that same mechanic that Gogeta has, that Beast Gohan has, that targets or retargets all the characters' attacks on the field to that one specific character. A hype, currently anniversary exclusive mechanic, if you will. One other thing we're going to have to look forward to well, that may be really hard to skip is Golden Week. I completely forgot to mention this. Right now, since we know Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hybrid Garden are, like, we know of these characters already, we know that for right now, these are the hardest characters that you're going to have to go through and skip. Um, if you want to skip, of course. If you don't want to, feel free, summon, enjoy, do whatever you got to do. Um, but for those are, that need to, that want to skip, this is going to be a hard thing for you to do because we know these characters exist. We don't know what Saiyan Day is, so it may be hard, maybe may not be. Golden Week follows the same thing because Golden Week last year released two of the best TRs in the game, especially Piccolo Jr. is a demon. He still is a demon. And we know that they, they're they not playing around when it comes to the Golden Week, especially when you consider someone like Elor Bulma. The bet, like, still, again, considered one of the best Yellow Coin LRs in the game. So, honestly, the best, no, let me just say it, the best Yellow Coin LR in the game. Like this, uh, this uh, not worldwide. Sorry, this Golden Week celebration, um, in terms of quality characters, was definitely one of the best. Goku, amazing. Piccolo, the best, best yellow coin. Out. Like this is definitely a great celebration, and I don't see them, you know, holding back for something like this year's uh, Golden Week celebration. So 
you're, we're going to have three months, not three months, basically three celebrations where it's going to be tough to get past. But if it's if it's going to give you any sort, let me let me load. Lo, I can't even speak English, dude. Let me load up Dokkan real quick, just to prove something to you again. For those that didn't watch the, a previous video or two, let me just prove something to you, okay? Again, oh, of course it's not going to pop up. Give me one second. What I was going to say, well, my phone loads up. What I was going to say is, when I say, skip these things, save for anniversary this, in case you haven't heard me say it before, I'm letting you know now that I am skipping these things too. I'm not just saying it to say it, right? I'm not just telling it to you so that way you, only you, I, I'm doing the same thing. I'm skipping Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hybrid Gun for how hard that like it's it's gonna be a very difficult thing to do because those characters are good and I really I genuinely want Super Saiyan 3 uh Super Saiyan 3 Hybrid Gun what the heck I really want Hybrid Gun take a look at this so um if I go to again menu I go to history I'm not li I'm gonna continue doing this because I want you guys to see I'm I'm about it I'm not summoning December 14th I'm skipping with you I'm going through the pain with you I'm suffering with you. So, we can do it together, all right? We can skip Golden Week together. We can skip Saiyan Day together if, of course, you care about the anniversary. If something drops, like, for example, if Z Broly drops, you guys know how, look at, look at my profile picture. If Z Broly releases on something like Saiyan Day, I, 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 I have to, it's, it's Z Broly, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just have to summon. Um, and that's why I'm saying, like, if something drops for you, let's say Bardock is your favorite character and Bardock comes out for Sandy, I understand it. You got to do what you got to do. I'm not here like I'm disappointed that you summoned, right? It's just one of those things where people will say, nah, dude, I only care about my favorite character is like Bulma, so I got to summon for Bulma. But they're lying to themselves when they say that, right? And I'm not saying everyone's saying that because there's people who genuinely love Bulma. I'm just talking about those few people that say those types of things just to justify their summoning addiction and you know who you are nah bro i've been waiting for a bardock no you haven't again if you really love bardock yes but most of the time you're just trying to lie about your summon addiction and that's okay because i've been there i've done that but with z broly you guys know how you guys you guys know like like look at the profile picture dude it's always been about z broly it's always been about broly so if broly drops i would actually be a fraud if if i didn't summon and that's Again, everyone has exceptions. That's my that's my one exception. So let me know what character has to drop between now and Global's anniversary for you to actually go ahead and set effort. I I just have to summon. It is what it is, right? I'll also say this: if Broly ends up being mid, I might. Ah, I can't. Why will I skip? I, I don't know. It's it's hard, man. Because I want Broly to be good. Z Broly to be good. I don't, I don't think he'll release, but we'll see. Especially since we got Broly for anniversary, even though it's not Z. But you get the point. All I'm trying to say is. I'm skipping anniversary. Sorry, what? I am skipping everything leading up to <laughs> the anniversary. Um, and I mean that. We all have our exceptions, and I doubt that's good, that those things are going to actually release. If they do, we'll tackle that at their own point. And again, it's completely fine if you have your own thing as well. And and maybe if, you know, during that Broly stream, if it happens, and, you know, like... <sighs> Like, I, it's it's tough, dude. It's one of those things where I get it. It's tough to skip your favorite characters. That's like telling Ryuden to skip Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You think he's going to do that? No, right? So I get it. I understand it. We all have reasons why we summon. But when you summon on Rubrian, Kakunza, and Rosie, there's no way you're telling that's your favorite character. Of Universe 2? Come on. Come on, bro. Like, like, what? Like, see, like, you're just you're, you're just lying. All right? You're just lying. Uh, unless you really like thick Brienne, then, you know, I, I get it. You, you, you're you into what you're into. I get it. But that's that's all I'm trying to say. Golden Week, Saiyan Day are two celebrations you're going to have to look out for. It's not just going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hyrule to Garn. It's going to be a lot harder. The road to anniversary is going to be tough. But I'm here. I'm doing it with you. I'm skipping everything with you. Hopefully they don't drop the Z Broly, man. And hopefully they don't drop that one character. So just let me know. Comment. What's that one character? One character that you absolutely cannot skip. Because Broly, Z Broly is what it is for me. And I, that's just I'm just being true to myself. And I want you to be true to yourself as well. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Road to anniversary. Let's stick to it together.
And uh, keep in mind, in April, we're doing something that's going to save people hundreds of dragon stones. So stay tuned for that. I know it's it's an early promo, but people have already been asking for in the comments and in Discord and stuff. By the way, join link in the description. But um, quick promo. Uh, but yeah, it, you'll see. It's going to save you hundreds of dragon stones. We do it every single year. It's like the it's, it's like the uh, like a little. I don't know what you'd call it. Like, but just just know, just know. I'm doing my best to make sure you save as many dragon stones as possible. I'll see you the next one. Please, please take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I love you so much for showing this channel love and support. I'll see you the next one. Take care. And again, peace.